So we finally get a filler episode. Poker fans and those who saw on this video today, we are here. I'm like almost a week late. I didn't realize that the episode actually came out last week. I completely, it completely missed me. Okay, I apologize for that. But we're here with Pokemon Horizons episode like 13 or fucking. I don't fucking remember. What it is, okay, I, I really don't remember right now. I apologize. This was literally a filler episode. It, it felt like a filler episode. That might potentially lead to something, right? It's not like every episode. Will probably, I mean, I, I kind of figured at some point we we're gonna get filler, uh, just because you can't have something happening every time. Uh, it still feels like a sequence, though, because what happened, what happened in this episode, does end on like actual potential um, important stuff for next episode uh, and the episode after that. So I'll give it the, at least that that props that it's. It doesn't just feel like the whole episode is filler, um, but still, filler nonetheless. <laughs> I've said filler like 15 times. <laughs> Anyways, my point still stands. Uh, it wasn't bad per se. Um, I think Liko being clueless at the fact that Dot is Gudamine is kind of getting a little awkward for me. Like, don't get me wrong, I don't have a problem with. Like, the fact that there's supposed to be, like, this friendship building between Dot and, and, and Liko. But I think the fact that she still hasn't caught on to the fact that Dot is Gurumin is really fucking weird. Because everybody else on the fucking ship knows. I mean, I'm pretty sure Roy doesn't know because he, I don't think he follows Gurumin that much. Um, I don't... I think he, he saw... Or he saw something about Gurumin, like, maybe the first episode he was introduced. I'm not quite sure. Um, but since then, he hasn't been shown to be, like, an active viewer of, of Gudamin. But my point is still that, like, Liko should have noticed that, hey, we talk, like, something happens with Dot. And then immediately there's a, an episode on Gudamin's show that has to do with it. On top of the fact that what happened when she was doing the fucking live stream. Like, how, how do you not catch on that they're the same fucking person? I don't, and the fact that you saw the fucking costume, man, you, what, how do you like the dots? The, 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 literally, the legit. <laughs> it, it wasn't meant to like go that way, but like the, the dots are connected. Dot is a fucking same person as Gunami. How do you not like? I just I, I'm starting to get awkward feelings. Like I hope that that goes away relatively soon because it's been long enough. It's been long enough. <laughs> um, and the other cool thing about this is I'm I'm like eighty percent sure that Roy is gonna catch the watch roll at this point. Just, I mean, there was an, it wasn't really an attempt, but there was a battle, somewhat. Like there, there was a screaming match. It wasn't like so it wasn't like a legit battle, but there was a screaming match between Fake Coco and and the Watch Roll. But in my, like in my mind, I feel like this is supposed to be like uh, Roy's first catch, uh, and the fact that the Watch Roll is gonna be happening again next episode uh, gives me more of like, it, cause it reminds me of like Ash, and, and I don't know, it's, I, I feel bad for. For bringing that but when ash would help out like these wild pokemon uh and then he ends up catching it later on like that's what it feels like it feels like roy is now like you know helping this watch roll and then watch is gonna feel some sorts of some sort of gratitude for him and then because they're gonna do this whole training montage to try to help it fly again something's gonna happen there. I, I i just in my mind in my mind I feel like this is leading to Roy's first capture. I feel a little weird that Roy is the first is the first of the two main characters that's catching an extra mod, uh, considering that Liko is technically speaking the main protagonist and Roy is the secondary protagonist. So like I would have expected Liko to have her first catch, but then again I don't know how they're planning to raise these characters. I, I don't know if they're because they're, they're trainers, right? They consider themselves trainers, but they're not doing the whole oh I gotta catch more mods as part of a squad, right? Um, I, I believe at, at the end of this, this whole saga, Roy is going to have something to do with the fucking Black Ray Quasar because it's his fucking Pokeball. So, or, or he got it from his grandfather. So in a sense, 
Rayquaza is his. So that might be, and that's his end goal, right? He wants to get the fucking, you know, the Rayquaza. So I feel like that's Roy's, like, end goal. But Liko doesn't have, like, maybe the fucking Galapagos turtle shit. Like, but, but even then, I don't know if they're going to really push that to be, like, an actual fucking Pokemon. Or if it's just going to stay the fucking pendant thing. Um, but that's besides the point. Like, that's the only other interesting thing. The, the fucking sandwiches things, I, I don't fucking care about. I didn't care about that fucking mini game in the games. Okay, I thought it was a waste of time. It was a stupid concept. I really didn't like it. Uh, and they didn't really do too much with it in, in the actual show. They're like, oh, well, you got to build sandwiches. Uh, and, and and they were all judging each other and shit. Like, I don't know. That fucking looks stupid. To me, it, it, I didn't really care. Uh, like, aside from the fact that, you know, all the characters were, were hanging out except for Dot and the old man. Which I still I still want to make something. Because I already I made the Lico versus Grandma video. I want to, to 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 make a video on my conspiracy about the grandpa because I, I have a suspicious feeling that he he's some there's something weird about him. I don't trust him, but that's something for for the future. Uh, aside from that, uh, the other like the ending portion is the fact that we're finally meeting the next like uh, explorers villain dude, uh, and he's over here breaking the communications and shit. So like already he's doing like he he seems as, as a bigger threat than Amethio, uh, even though Amethio was able to like fucking kidnap. Uh, like Sprigatito and shit and like almost kidnapped Lego, right? Um, he's over here, like this new guy is like basically destroying their electronics and their communications and shit. So like, he seems like a bigger threat, obviously. I'm assuming that's gonna happen every other explorer's person that we encounter. Um, that they're gonna be somewhat like more threatening or something's gonna happen or they're gonna their tactics is gonna be a little different. So I like the fact that they're different and I'm really interested to see what's gonna happen in the next episode. With these people overall uh rating for this uh this comeback episode i'll give it like a 5.1 out of 10 like i'm not gonna give it too high because like i said it's filler most of it was kind of boring pointless and i mean it wasn't boring it's just it really didn't matter i ate the whole sandwiches concept i just fucking hate uh everything else was fine like the the roy and watcho stuff is is leading to something so like this episode like it was just okay uh, and then obviously the interesting part about the fucking the, the new explorers villain that we're gonna be interacting with So aside from that, that's gonna be it for this review. Thank you guys so much for watching Leave your thoughts comments in the comments section below I highly doubt any of you guys who have not I have not seen the episode at this point But I'll leave a link in the description like I always do so that you guys can watch it on the off chance that you have not seen it yet uh, And that's gonna be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching I was Rose Croxon and I will see you guys in future videos